Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making an ahi tuna steak salad. So these are the ingredients that I have. Starting with the ahi tuna steak itself, I got this from Whole Foods. This is just what they call a tuna steak. Next are going to be the veggies that I put on my salad. Really what you put on your salad is up to you. This is just a mix between what I wanted on the salad plus like a little bit of what I had already in my fridge. So I have some carrots, I have some Persian cucumbers, I have a plum in the bowl here, I have some walnuts and also some feta cheese, I have a lime, I have a yellow bell pepper, avocado, and my box of mixed greens. So to help create the crust for our tuna steak, I'm just going to keep everything sweet and simple. So that's first using this olive oil and then also this everything but the bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's to put on all sides of the tuna steak. Then at the end to top off our salad, I have this blush wine vinaigrette dressing. You guys, this is so good. I don't usually take the vinaigrettes, but this was just the topping we needed for this delicious salad already. It made it so good. So go ahead and try her out. Check it out. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and slice up my fruits and veggies just so I can already have them preset and ready to go. I'm going to save the avocado for the very end because I don't want it to turn brown while we're chopping everything else up. So here we go. Okay, so for the tuna steak, I'm just going to leave this pretty simple. I just have two ingredients for it, and that is the olive oil and that everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. The only thing I'll say here is to make sure you coat everything pretty evenly on both and all sides, just because it turns out prettier in the end. After rubbing our olive oil in, I'm going to go in with some pretty generous amounts of that everything but the bagel seasoning on both and all sides. The entire outside should be evenly coated with your seasoning. And that is our seasoned tuna steak, set and ready for the skillet. So first on my plate, I'm gonna go in with my bed of salad. Just let it fall naturally and then you can kind of prune it and remove the pieces that maybe don't look so good. Just kind of spruce it up to make it look fresh, crisp, and delicious. For me, I want a little bit of this purple to show out because it is the pop of color to our salad. I'm just making sure it is somewhere here able to be seen on my plate. So next, I'm going to take some of our yellow bell peppers here and lay them in the front. After the bell pepper, I'm going to go in with a few chopped carrots. Then some cucumbers and then I'm going to go ahead and place some plums down here at the bottom of the plate. Everybody may not like feta cheese, so what I'm going to do is kind of have a little ball, or at least keep it together in a little pocket, right here in the corner of our plate. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take those chopped walnuts and sprinkle them across the top of our salad. So 
so now for the ahi tuna steak itself i'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to our pan just a little drizzle uh what i did with this pan actually i turned it up to extremely high heat and then i just turned it down to about medium heat because the point here is to sear the steak so we don't want it to burn we want it to be hot enough to get a nice crisp on the edges but then also warm enough to like not burn up our kitchen right i'm gonna lay it in the pan for about 10 seconds on each side so it can get nice and seared so i'm just gonna drop the tuna right in here just like that From here, I'm gonna take it kind of on the edge there and look at the bottom, see how it's looking. That looks nice to me. I see a little brown on there. And I'm gonna take it and flip it directly on the other side. Oh, I so wish you guys could hear more of this searing, but copyright with the music I used first. But a tip here is that if you turn the tuna on its side, you can still see the pink inside and kind of see how fast it's cooking. And we do still want it to be pink on the inside by the time we're done cooking this steak. Okay, so I've been searing our steak for about 15 to 20 seconds on each side, really depending on the heat of your pan, as well as like I said, you can watch it from the side and see how well it's cooking. But after flipping it around, making sure I get all the sides, I am going to go ahead and remove it from the heat. I did want to make sure to actually say to make sure to get it on the short sides too, so you want it to be evenly cooked all the way around, all corners, all edges of the steak. <laughs> And our tuna is done, so I'm going to take it off of the skillet right now. So this is our steak. I am going to go ahead and take my knife and go ahead and slice it into smaller pieces right here diagonally across the steak and place it on our plate just like I did the vegetables. For what I was going for, this is the perfect amount of sear for me. I wanted it crispy around the edges, a little cooked, but also pink still right there in the middle. Very fresh, very yummy, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice up a few more slices and plate it, and we will be done with this recipe. Okay, okay, so just for looks, right here in the back, I'm putting a couple slices of lime, and then I did take the avocado from earlier and sliced it on the edge just like so. I did also diagonal slice it, as you can see, I'm going to squeeze it with a little lemon juice for freshness, place it on our plate, and I think we have, I think we have a dinner. Okay, finishing touches, I am going to go in with a little drizzle of that strawberry vinaigrette that I showed you all at the beginning of this video. Uh, you can definitely leave it in a cup on the side as well, depending on whoever you're serving. So this is how the salad turned out, and when I tell you all I could eat this every day, mm, I mean it. If you decide to give this recipe a try, give me a comment down below, let me know how you liked it. Other than that, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe for more videos ahead, and I appreciate you for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!